Infinity War is the most ambitious crossover event in history. What about the Encanto Marvel crossover nobody asked for? Hey guys, it's Leslie. I'm an artist and graphic designer, and I make art and gaming content here on YouTube. And today, we're going to be doing our part 2 of giving Marvel characters Encanto doors. As you saw from the title, I'm going to be drawing Doctor Strange. In my last video, I did Scarlet Witch herself, which will be linked down below if you want to check that out. This basically just feels like an ad for Multiverse Madness at this point since I did Steven and Wanda, um, but I actually thought he'd be a cool character to do since his portals and spells would kind of pop out on the door. And in case you were wondering, I am basing this off of his outfit in the MCU. Okay, underrated characters. Let me tell you one of my favorite characters from Doctor Strange is his cloak. Because... Yeah, Harry Potter's invisibility cloak could never. <laughs> you know how people do those videos where it's like, Captain Marvel versus Superman, who would win? Sort of like DC Marvel battles. Imagine if they did Doctor Strange's cloak versus Harry Potter's cloak. That's the content we want to see. I would say his cloak is on the same level as like Kroki from Loki or Antony from Ant-Man. Probably forgetting a few other underrated MCU characters, but my question for you is who is your favorite underrated MCU character? You should comment below because I actually really want to see this. Okay, now that I finished the basic sketch, I made the base color the same color as the darkest part of the door and I'm going to come in and start on the glowing details. Marvel has been giving us such good content lately. I mean, we just had No Way Home, Moon Knight, uh, the other upcoming stuff looks really good too. But honestly, I cannot tell you how excited I am for Multiverse of Madness, we're gonna get actual freaking Professor X, and I'm a big X-Men fan, so I'm super excited to see what that means for the future and who else you might see in the movie. But we're gonna get more Wanda. I'm always here for more Wanda. Um, they can just put her in any movie and I'd probably watch it. Um, there's gonna be America Chavez. Uh, people have been speculating Illuminati and what if content, so I'm, I'm here for all of that. So I might make another fan art piece in the future just for Multiverse of Madness, so keep your eye out for that. And if you do want to check out some of my other Marvel pieces I made in the past, like these, I'll have them linked in my Instagram down below with my other socials. Right now, I'm going over the initial glowing lines I put in with a brighter yellow, and I'm not getting too detailed with it because I want it to resemble the original Encantadors as much as possible and I use a bit of a rougher brush so it gives an etched in effect. I'll let you guys listen to the music and talk to you in a bit. Like I mentioned before, I did want to add in his spell or a portal, um, and you'll see at one point I tried doing both, but it was way too much going on. I ended up doing the spell off screen because it was mainly me using the ellipse and rectangle tool a lot. Obviously the spell looks a little too perfect right now, so I'm going in and making it look a little more distressed and handmade by erasing some areas and going over with a rough brush. I'm just going to add in some finishing touches and I'll show you the finished piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more of my work, I'll have my socials linked down below. And if you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing so I know to make more content like this. It really helps. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!
拜。